all now let's tell you let's kick start the show and tell you what our wise experts have to say as we head into trade this morning Neelkan Mishra of Credit Suisse says they do not expect growth in India to recover anytime soon as monetary tightness persists global momentum though they believe could turn positive as China stabilizes and even if global central banks do not change their stance inflows to India may not sustain Credit Suisse still prefers investment over consumption in India okay uh, with that we come to money market views basket part of HDFC Bank says a strong dollar rally against Asian currencies will impact today's USD INR trading he expects the pair to trade in a higher range between 69.20 and 69.45 for the day and on the bonds, Bhaskar Panda says the Reserve Bank has announced another dollar swap window to manage the rupee liquidity and this might have some impact on yields. The first half borrowing program didn't hold surprises, hence yields could still remain ranged ahead of the RBI policy. He expects the 10-year benchmark yield to trade within 7.3 to 7.35 percent for today. Well, actually, okay. Anuj, uh, this is also another uh, point. Mm. The market is opening only today after the borrowing yes. program. Mm. So that also was slightly bond negative. Mm. And then there has been a dollar swap, not mm. an OMO announcement. Yes. That's a bit bond negative. Yes. Crude is a bit bond yes. negative. There are so many bond negatives, you are right, uh, that Nifty Bank can. Yeah, and you know, money markets were shut yesterday, of course, you know, even currency markets. So that today yeah. there could be some, some impact. Like Lata said, uh, uh, it will be the first reaction of the bond market today after, uh, after the gap. So watch out for that but let's talk about the global queues here's Mangalam with the world view well good good queues coming in from uh, Wall Street as well as the European markets we start with Wall Street the Dow rallied nearly 300 points Op uh, uh, closed about uh, uh, 26,000 marks so that's an important level the Nasdaq to about 1.3 percent gainers came in all sizes shapes and colors we had United Technology Caterpillar JP Morgan J is doing well the Nasdaq outperformed because Fang stocks X of Apple of course Fana stocks if you must Facebook Amazon Netflix and Alphabet did well the banks did well as well and that's on account of the fact that the US yield rose so all banks doing fairly well why did the US yields rise that's because the manufacturing data the manufacturing activity expanded rebounded from 2016 lows so aiding to the optimism over the fact that US China trade talks have concluded across the Atlantic we saw good gains come by in the European markets as well minerals did well owing to strong data coming in from China yesterday as well as auto stocks because of some consolidation hopes uh, that optimism has percolated into most of the Asian markets so we have good gains coming in again on all the frontline Asian indices though they're off highs however pouring some cold oil on the Indian markets is the fact that Brent is now at $69 per barrel near 2019 highs and as a result of that while SGX Nifty indicates a positive start it is more subdued than the other Asian peers okay thanks a lot for that so big moves across uh, the US markets the Dow is up almost 330 odd points